right ladies and gentlemen today i am with my friend tridip and we are in chemnitz germany yesterday we visited dresden i have uploaded i am going to upload one video about the nine planets there there's a place where we saw all the yeah, planets we, right yeah so today we will discuss another video on the playlist uh, practical astrology so uh, i have the list here and he is studying masters in uh, i'm studying my masters in electronics and my specialization is on micro and nano systems yeah so this yeah. is the first time he's coming on videos so after yeah. a lot of persuasion and <laughs> <laughs> perseverance and tolerance he has finally accepted my offer yeah all right so so what i will be doing is uh, as we all know as we had done earlier with uh, ankit also in magdeburg so i'll be giving the description of the houses here and then he will be telling uh, subjects which you need to take from uh, both the uh, yeah yes, both from, from the both. masters and the bachelors yeah yeah so this is just a basic uh, outlook so basically what we are doing here is uh, suppose you have uh, you have a chart and somebody asks you that uh, which topic i should be doing my phd or my thesis or my research yes i also get questions like that so yeah. Uh, depending on whichever houses you have natural benefits and uh, like jupiter moon mercury and venus those areas you can go or if you have those areas where you have difficult conjunctions like mars and saturn those are the houses you can avoid okay so now suppose you have uh, suppose you have jupiter in the second house let me give you an example so i will be telling the subject for the second house and i will be also telling how is that related to the studies and Uh, the other area so then probably you can try uh, taking things in that domain or suppose if you have a house like many times we have a chart where there are more than one benefics uh, conjunct in one house like mercury venus is placed in one house so suppose mercury venus is in your 10th house for example then you can subject select related, uh, related to that so now again uh, you have to try yourself and it doesn't mean that if you just take the subject uh, there's a benefic and you will pass that's, it so i am not that's true yeah that never happens because there's no uh, shortcut for hard work okay so let's start and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you pass subjects in electronics yeah <laughs> then no micro whatever it is all right so these are the houses over uh, the the first house is there so what's the first house basically it deals with so many things as we know it is known as the ascendant yes it is the physical look and then it also represents the basics because it is basically who we are yes inside as a person so what do you think can come uh, for this domain in the first house yeah for the first house uh, i would suggest that electronic circuits and system design would be much more efficient okay mm -hmm. okay that's good electronic yeah. circuits and system design yeah. and then uh, let's see what the second house is second house is what basically it is the value of something right so that deals with in a way how the performance of the system is yes so uh, if that is the case because generally we say that a system is uh, valuable if the performance is good or it is reliable or all those good traits okay so what do you think come comes under the second uh, house yeah for the second house i uh, plenty of subjects like we have microprocessor and embedded systems which everybody is learning in bachelors and we have the power semiconductors yeah okay so that's it from the second house yeah. so if you have a benefit in the second house you can try for power semiconductors maybe okay so now uh, let's go to the third house third house as we know is for short distance travel or short term things basically yes short term encounters quick encounters so what do you think can come under this yeah for this category we have many subjects so we have fields and waves uh, you have smart sensor systems automotive sensor systems and microscopy and antenna so most of these subjects are comprised of in bachelors and masters Okay, yeah. so microscopy and analysis on the nano scale, yeah. and antenna and wave, yeah. wave, wave guides. guides, yeah, yeah, antenna and wave guides, yeah. So, so that's it. Yeah. So now let's go to the fourth house. So fourth house, uh, what it deals? It basically deals with storage, right? Because it is the house of our home, and in home we store all the things, and sometimes that's, those yeah. things which we don't need also. Yeah. All right, so it deals with physical storage, etc. So yeah. what do you think comes under the fourth yeah, house? Yeah, for my concern, yeah, fourth house would be like for technology. in micro and nano systems and uh, for vlsi which we did in bachelors okay yeah. and what is vlsi i think they will uh, yeah very vlsi is nothing but the very large scale integration it's like chip design chip designing yeah chip designing yeah chip design yeah so it's mostly on chip okay. manufacturing okay. yeah okay yeah now let's go to the trine house everybody's favorite house the fifth house fifth house of love and romance <laughs> 
uh, but uh, here fifth house is the house of planning because fifth house gives the projection to the world okay so mm -hmm. fifth house is the house of collaborations etc yeah. but primarily it is the house of planning because it's originally ruled by the sign of leo which is about leaders yes and leaders plan things so what do you think comes under the fifth uh, house? yeah for the fifth house um i suggest control systems would be good for bachelors from the bachelors yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is a very important subject, I guess. Mm, in control this systems, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go to the sixth house of enemies, attack, prevention, because sixth house deals with obstacles, yes. So yeah. if you have benefits in the sixth, you can try maybe subjects like... Subjects yeah. like network security would be good. Yeah. Any kind of security um, subjects, yeah, like in uh, computer science, we have many subjects. Yes, so network security. Yeah. Because network security that is good. deals how you protect uh, systems. How you protect the yes. system, yeah. Mm -hmm. or if enemies are attacking then how you, uh, you uh, save suggest yourself. your measures yeah. uh, yes yes mm. now let's go to the seventh house of marriage seventh house of collaborations and joint systems joint ventures all right so what do you think comes under this um i have learned in my um masters mm. so we have a subject uh, called as advanced integrated circuit technology which defines mostly on uh, how you manufacture chips or how you how the fabrication of chips occurs so in a higher scale um, so I would suggest advanced integrated circuit technology would be best. Okay, for advanced this integrated circuit technology. Yeah. Now let's go to the eighth house. My God, the most dreaded, fearsome house. Yes, my God, this yeah. house takes away sleep of everybody. So what is eighth house basically? Eighth uh, house is certain occurrences and mm -hmm. things which you don't expect out of the blue. So reversals, yes, hidden things, sudden things which you never expected. Yes, all these things come. So what do you think comes under the eighth house? For the eighth house, um, I have not experienced any kind of subjects in my bachelor's, but I would suggest in my master's, I have encountered with a subject called this reliability um, in micro and nano systems, or I could say that reliability um, you can take in any scale. So I would suggest reliability would be best for this. Okay, so yeah. reliability tells how, how much reliable system. Yeah, how much the reliable yeah. systems are, we can experience different kinds of yes. uh, errors over there. Okay. Yeah, failures okay yeah. all right now let's go to the ninth house of god but there's no god here <laughs> so ninth house deals with long-term ventures long distance travel long distance communications yes anything which is far-sighted so what do you think comes another ninth house mm, for this category i would say the signals and systems would be best okay signals mm. and systems all mm -hmm. right so if you have a benefit in the ninth house don't miss this subject <laughs> all right so now going to the most important house of the chart the 10th house it is the house of decisions primarily yes because sun is the karaka for the 10th house mm -hmm. along with mercury of course mercury. <laughs> so uh, 10th house deals with uh, what decisions we make so what do you think comes under this um for decision i would suggest yeah microcontrollers should be best and uh, reliability yeah, yeah, so microcontrollers, if you have great benefits in the 10th house, giving some mm -hmm. Raj Yoga or some Mahapurush Yoga, then don't miss this subject. Yeah. Alright, now coming to the 11th house, the most discussed house in Kali Yoga, because it's the house of achievements, fulfillment of hopes, wishes, yeah, desires sure. and large ventures, innovations, alright, so new things basically which people are doing and big people what they are doing, so mm. what do you think comes um, under that? For this subject, I would suggest any kind of subjects which related on MAMS design and uh, circuit design it would be best for that okay mems yeah. yes yeah. mems so microsystem design and mems, mems these are the things now let's go to the last house of moksha but there's no word here so no moksha here but moksha is loss of loss things of right things, yeah. here in the subject so loss of energy or prevention of the loss or these kind of things so if you have benefits in the 12th what you can sort of um, take? Uh, take as power electronics okay yeah, power, power electronics. electronics would be best yeah okay okay mm -hmm. so these are the subjects which you can try and again i will give the disclaimer that uh, some of you <laughs> may take subjects as i've said uh, you will not see the whole chart okay? yeah. you will say oh you said to take this then i feel so <laughs> let me give the disclaimer i am not responsible for any uh, good or bad grades that you get but uh, if you see these things very strongly in your chart yes especially more than one benefits are conjunct in your chart in a particular house and if you have a history where you have taken subjects regarding those those areas that's very important yeah, because otherwise obviously. how will you go to specialization Definitely. if you don't know the basics okay if you don't know the basics yeah. so then you can take it okay and if mm -hmm. you see that there are too many malefics conjunct in your chart 
especially malefics like Mars and Saturn together and suppose they are in your um, 10th house then probably you need to avoid microcontrollers and reliability okay because they are going to give you a tough time there especially yeah. now with the current conjunction in the sky all right mm -hmm. so I wish you all the best for this and uh, if you are from this domain then please uh, try to see in your horoscope all right yeah. so that is it from my side uh, thank you very much to him for coming thank you so much <laughs> for calling me <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. okay so today i'll yeah. be going back to gottingen and from tomorrow i'll be uh, making videos from my room uh, my old good old room all right so see you next time see you bye next bye. time bye bye